Hello everyone, I'm Magic Dave and this is Sapiens. So I thought I'd go back to kind of talking about things as I go and not just um, talking about everything that I've already done right at the end. And so I haven't really got very far yet. Uh, what I've decided to work on is the whole multi-select thing. So in the last video there was a slider down here uh, that was just an experiment to see how I could um, select multiple items within a radius of, of a single item. So the problem that I'm trying to solve is that when you click on like or when you have an, when you have an orchard or something or, or a number of things around you often want to perform the same action on all of those things at once and it's really tedious if you don't have some way of, of doing that like so let's say you want to gather all these rocks you'd, uh, you know without any kind of multi-select or any kind of um, you know way of doing an action on all of them you have to click on each individual one and go store and and you know that's just not any fun no one wants to do that so up until now the solution has been that I had a store all um, option here so just particularly for store um, there was a special case where it would allow you to queue up an order for basically all the all the things within some kind of defined radius I don't know maybe 50 meters or something there's no way to configure that uh, you then had a, a way to cancel all, all or just cancel one so it kind of remembered which ones have been grouped up together and you'd cancel them all and it sort of worked you know it was okay but I, I guess I kind of knew that was not going to be a good solution in particular once you start looking at things like this like you want to gather um, all of the pine cones for all the trees in the area um, you're going to have more buttons around here it's going to get very busy and so it just it just wasn't really going to be the solution. So I started adding the the slider that sort of selected everything. Um, it didn't, it, it felt like it could work um, but then I just, I had the idea that, that maybe you could have some kind of a radar based view and so that's what I started working on. So now let's fast forward through about three days of development and I have implemented this. So it's basically a top-down radar view and uh, you know it's, it's, it's like a mini map basically and you can adjust the radius around the object that you're looking at to select more or less items. Uh, you can also use the scroll wheel and then once you're done you can hit enter or click this button. Obviously this, is, this needs work, um, I might put something down here instead but um, then you can select them and now you have three peach trees selected and any action that you queue up in here will apply to all of them. Um, and so you can now see these, uh, these icons here. So the orders to collect peaches has been applied to all of those trees. Uh, and then you can go back in again and do the same thing except maybe increase the radius. You've got seven, click gather peaches again and it will just apply the extra order to the, the new trees that you've added and you know all that kind of nice stuff. So um, as far as control goes, this is far more flexible than before. I mean, before you couldn't actually even do that. You couldn't select multiple trees and queue up gather orders. So that's, uh, that's new, but it's done that without adding any real extra complexity to this menu. And in fact, I've taken that zoom marker that was taking up this slot here and moved it down here to try to simplify this, this here. Um, because really you don't want to zoom in on a peach tree all that often. It didn't need to have such a... Um, a you know prominent position in this menu. Um, the other thing that I realized was that uh, the way that I'd implemented both the cancelling of orders and in general like if you'd already gathered all the peaches for a tree um, what it was doing before was just removing that segment so this would have then become two segments and that was sort of messing with my muscle memory a bit because you sort of you know you expect that you can always go in and select I want to gather peaches I want to gather peaches and then you get to a tree that doesn't have any peaches and whoops I've gathered pine branches instead because this is just split out so you know that that was um, an improvement that I think is, is quite important that these icons if, if, if it's unavailable it's still there it's just grayed out so that you can you can actually um, remember that going a particular direction for a particular object will always give the same result so I'll carry on working on that for a bit longer I've got another couple of days to go I think on that just just tidying up how all of these things work what's displayed down here when you've got multiple things selected and all that kind of stuff um, and then after I've spent a couple days on that I'll go back to working on the sort of nomads and um, yeah there's one there just yeah getting some interesting behaviors so I'm still really looking forward to working on that.
Okay, so it's winter now in Sapiens land, and I've worked a lot on the whole multi-selection UI over the last sort of two days or so, and I'm pretty happy with it. I think, you know, there's a couple more little bits and pieces to tidy up, but I think it's basically ready for, uh, for alpha testers, ready to get some feedback. Uh, so let me show you what I've done. Um, so first up, I've tidied up this interface here. I've got, um, it now matches the inspection kind of interface, so you can basically toggle between them. Um, so yeah, you can modify your selection and go back in and, and change that. So that's that's really kind of seamless and really nice. Um, so I've added the concept of selection groups now too. So basically, you know, the, that's a different kind of pine tree to this, but it's still getting selected. It knows that it's a pine tree um, in, in the context of kind of selecting. Um, and the, there are allowed to be multiple selection groups so now I've also for these um, birch branches it knows that there's um, that that's a member of the kind of birch branch selection group but also just the general branch group um, and so a pine branches so you can toggle between them and select either all the branches or just birch birch branches um, and this at the moment isn't particularly useful but down the track I think it's going to be very important and there might be quite a few different uh, multiple kind of groups that things can be assigned to um, and I'll tidy up this interface too I mean you know they probably need icons and tooltips and stuff rather than these sort of ugly buttons but for now they're sort of doing the trick yeah, so I added um, box select uh, partly due to some of the conversation in the Discord where people uh, sort of thought they might like a bit more control and um, partly because when I started testing it, I realized that this radius select thing, especially if you don't, if, if you kind of get presented with this user interface um, without any kind of context. I mean, I will have probably some, some explanation of what the controls are down here, which will I'm sure help. But still, you kind of want to like, you, you tend to maybe want to click on a dot to select it. As, as your kind of default behavior and if you do that it the result could be quite confusing and I just I, I thought maybe a better default might be box select but anyway I'll, I'll probably um, play with that a bit and just see what um, testers end up saying about all of that but uh, yeah so I've added box select and you just drag out a box and you can select items you can see them sort of lighting up in the background there uh, you can uh, right click to remove items uh, or shift click um, and yeah you can just drag across the whole lot if you want as well um, and it's all working otherwise much the same as the radius select so that, that took quite a bit of time um, there, there are all sorts of little uh, um, issues and kind of you know I thought it was gonna be really quick but it actually <laughs> it actually took a bit of time but I'm glad I did it and I think you know that's it's nice having these two options Actually, while we're here in this um, sort of wintry view, I just want to show you what it looks like with this um, cloud cover. Because um, I think like just when it's all snowy like this and it's, it's, I just, can you imagine some big fat snowflakes falling around here? I think it's just going to be awesome. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, but yeah, the, um, the other thing that I did was I sorted out with the selection groups how, oh my goodness, putter has died. So that's another new thing. The um, sapiens can actually die now. Uh, they can die of old age only. Um, but that was, yeah, with these nomads, they, the nomads can kind of walk off and get removed. So I thought, well, it's probably time to make it so that um, your own sapiens can also get removed when they um, die of old age so that's um, that's a new thing that's <laughs> kind of interesting and other than that um, yeah there's just been lots of sort of tidying up um, it shows uh, so if I queue up orders it, it shows the um, orders in this view now whereas before it didn't so it was a little bit um, difficult to know exactly um, you know what you were cancelling and stuff um, yeah cancel it's we've got the tooltip and we've got this kind of um, red circle that comes up to just show you that you're cancelling that action um, yeah just lots of little bits and pieces that sort of tidy things up or tidied this stuff up too so okay so I think that is enough on uh, multi-select for now and I'm going to go back to working on these um, nomad sapiens uh, the first thing that I wanted to do was probably um, improve the logging that I've got for AI so that I can really understand what they're doing. Um, you know, even like he just waved, I guess he's waving at these sleeping people. I don't know, there's there's quite a lot of little bugs uh, where they'll sort of walk around in circles and do all sorts of silly things. And it's quite hard for me to know what's going on because, um, yeah, I don't have any facility to kind of log per sapien um, AI behaviors and stuff. So I'm going to add that in and then I'm going to focus on um, the interactions with them so um, you know uh, adding the ability to recruit is probably the first um, the first focus so uh, yeah I mean that's the whole
whole point is um, I want you to be able to recruit these guys in to grow your tribe. So um, yeah, I'll probably, my plan is basically to, to just get that basic behavior in place. So make it so you can queue up a recruit order and then that your sapiens will come over and probably just do some kind of simple hand waving interaction and suddenly they'll be recruited to your tribe. Um, and once I've got that in place, I can take it from there and really kind of improve the behaviors. But um, that would be a good starting point. Okay, so I've made some really good progress with the uh, Nomad Sapien tribes and um, yeah I just thought I'd show you first uh, something that I, was, that I worked on to, to kind of get there. Uh, so these Sapiens now have individual personality traits and this is really, um, you know, when I started adding the uh, Nomad tribes I thought, you know, they, they need to behave a little bit differently, uh, I want each encounter to be unique and so, you know, I want the behaviours to be unique and so when you think about sort of what drives behaviour um, um, you know, there's a, there's a huge number of things, but uh, you know, there's there's kind of your um, your needs. So if you need food, you might go and steal some food, um, or uh, you know, try to negotiate for food or whatever. Uh, so that's that's driving what you do. But then obviously there's sort of your personality as well, and um, and an overall kind of uh, drive that the tribe has as a whole. Uh, so those are sort of the three main sort of drivers that I thought of. And I thought I'd start with this um, personality trait to try to make interactions between individuals kind of more interesting. Um, so for now I've just got a handful of different traits, uh, they do influence how quickly your sapiens will sort of learn skills um, and obviously sort of things like gluttons, so they'll, they'll eat more food, um, if they're lazy then they're going to do a lot less work, um, creative would mean that they're going to um, uh, learn um, certain skills faster and, and sort of be faster at crafting various items and stuff. So what I've done is I've now made it so that you can actually recruit uh, people from other tribes that come in um, and also that uh, the tribes that come in have their own um, agendas so most of them will be just kind of passing through or um, or just coming to sort of visit in, in a sort of a friendly way uh, but more interesting perhaps is that I've added uh, food raids so some tribes if you've got food stored will um, come in and just take it and run away again uh, well not run still just walk <laughs> but um, yeah and, and it's really cool and it's it's like man there's there's a lot of work to do yet but it's it's very very cool just having these um, these tribes come in so we'll get them storing up some food and then once they've got some food stored we'll probably start seeing some of these um, these raid tribes coming in okay so I've just noticed uh, this guy here um, at the moment there's no notification that um, that nomad tribes have come into the area you don't know I'll, I'll tweak that as I go I'll see how the balance feels with that I think maybe maybe your sapiens noticing them might trigger a notification uh, but anyway so this is a nomad guy and if we click on him we can see that he's that's his tribe goal um, and he wants to join which is going to make him easier to recruit so we can now click on recruit and we get um, an order just like any other any other object um, and it's disabled because ooh, that's flashing up there. Yeah, there's a few bugs around all this still, but yeah, so it says no sapiens learning the required skills. Um, so yeah, just like any other thing, we need to set someone up to um, actually uh, learn this, the required skill. In this case, it's leadership. Now, all of this really does need a lot of work. This is not particularly clear. I'm just trying to get things functional before I get carried away with designing all this UI, making it really nice. So um, yeah, this will all be replaced, but um, we can assign the leadership skill in and then now this uh, recruit marker has gone green and uh, we can get one of these people to come over from way over here and go and recruit uh, this person into our tribe hopefully. Oh, and there's some more people um, coming in and I suspect, yep, they're on a food raid. So these these people are just coming and um, they've seen that, seen that we've got food. So they've sort of spawned near the edge and they've sort of looked around to see if there's any storage areas that uh, have a bunch of food and they're just coming in and grabbing it and then going back where they came from. Um, so yeah, uh, they'll actually stop and, and even wave to your own sapiens as they're doing it. Uh, they'll wave to each other. Um, I had issues with them uh, just falling asleep in the middle of a raid and um, getting hungry and eating the food as they're walking along um, you know there's just lots of sort of interesting AI kind of in it you know I sort of started thinking about like what what's what is that what, you know how do you solve that and I thought about maybe um, maybe I guess you know they're kind of they're on a mission right so they should be um, should be focused on that mission and not just taking a nap uh, so I guess yeah 
but um, I have sort of fixed that for now, uh, we'll see. Um, oh yeah, so this is actually the, the, the recruitment process going on right now. Um, jo is creative and lazy, so um, yeah, she doesn't have the leadership trait, she's not a leader, uh, so her skills uh, will go up quite slowly, and so um, you know, she's trying to convert this guy, I guess recruit him. And at the moment, even though he wants to join the tribe, uh, there's no bonus to, to her converting him. Um, so yeah, and, you know, there's, there's lots and lots of work to do, but um, yeah, and also this interaction, she basically just waves, <laughs> waves constantly, um, and yeah, she's sort of chasing him and waving, waving at him even though he, as he walks off. <laughs> So yeah, heaps and heaps of work to do. Um, okay, so I think I think she's got a decent chance of recruiting him here. He's actually sort of given up and walking off. Uh, that's what they've got sort of timers that sort of tell them how long they'll, they're willing to sort of hang around before it gets too awkward and they then they leave. Um, but I don't know if she's actually going to make it in time or not. Um, I know that her her um, leadership skill is nearly strong enough, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, there we go. All right. So Lasso has joined. Our tribe. So as I mean, as you can see, lots of bugs. You know, th this is really just. I've only just got it working, um, and there's so much more that needs to be done. But yeah, so he's now. Um, I guess it has, is he still on his still on his mission? We can probably just tell him to move somewhere now. I don't know. I don't know if it's um, even going to work. But he is now part of our tribe. Um, he'll start listening to our orders and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's great to finally sort of have that in place. Um, I think these food raids are very interesting, and they they set it, set things up for conflict. And um, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that too. Um, but yeah, obviously I've just got lots and lots of little bugs to fix and lots of little refinement to do all the way through all of this stuff. Um, you know, it's just barely functional at the moment. Uh, but it's, you know, it's exciting to, to have, you know, got to this point where you can actually recruit people. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the devlog there and yeah, we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. And don't forget to wishlist Sapiens on Steam.